Uh, hello everyone, this is Reza from Radicad. Um, so you want to build a Power BI report using Power BI Desktop, but then you realize that there are different ways to download Power BI Desktop, one from Microsoft Store, one from a separate download link. There is also something else called Power BI Desktop Report Server. What is their difference? Let's talk about that in this video. Um, to build a report uh, in Power BI, to build a Power BI report, you need a tool called Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is a free tool. You can uh, access it in multiple ways, which I'm talking about in a second, but it's absolutely free. When you open Power BI Desktop, you'll see a window coming up in the center that asks you to log in, but you can skip that window. You don't really need a login to work with Power BI Desktop. This tool is absolutely free. And this is a tool that you use for connecting to a data set, building data model, creating visualizations and building your report. Now, there are two ways that you can access this tool. One is through uh, Microsoft Store. So you can go to Start and find Microsoft Store. Um, and when you open Microsoft Store, you can search for Power BI Desktop. You can search for Power BI Desktop. Uh, of course, you need an account for Microsoft Store to work with that. But this is a live account and you don't need to pay anything to have this account set up. Um, and then you'll see a set of um, uh, tools. One of them is called Power BI Desktop. Uh, the other one, which is called Power BI, that is for viewing the report. This is for building the report. So you need to install this one. And it's a free tool. As you see, I already have it installed. Uh, when you click on it, there is a download option here that you can download it because I already have it. It just come up with launch. So this is uh, a way to get this from Microsoft Store and it works perfectly if you have Windows 10 because you can access your Microsoft Store very easily through that. Another way is to use a link uh, to download Power BI Desktop and you can find this link down below in the description from my blog article. There's a link that you can go and uh, download Power BI Desktop. You can even choose uh, things that you want after downloading it and installing it. And uh, you can keep an eye on this and always see uh, the most up-to-date version downloaded because this would be the most up-to-date version of this. Now, this method uh, works with other Windows uh, versions as well. You can install it even on Windows 7, Windows 8. Uh, versus the other method was only um, for uh, places that you have access to Windows Store. Now, uh, one of the differences is that if you install it through Store, Store automatically gets this updated. Uh, every time, usually every month, there's an update for Power BI Desktop. So this automatically gets updated. You'll see that this automatically gets updated. You don't need to do any extra actions. You always get the most... Uh, up-to-date version of Power BI Desktop with the latest features in it, with no extra actions. But if you use the download link, it's not like that. If you use the download link, then it means that you have to um, come here, download it again uh, every time and uh, update it. So the main difference um, is that um, you can uh, install this one, which is from downloading in other win versions of Windows, but it comes at a price of updating it yourself, manually updating it, which considering it changing every month, it's a little bit of a uh, job. There is also another tool called uh, Power BI Desktop Report Server. It's not exactly with this name, but we call it this way because it is bundled with Report Server. I've written a blog article about that, what is Report Server and what is Power BI Desktop part of it. So if I scroll down all the way to find the Power BI Desktop part of it, this version of Power BI Desktop, you install it separately. This doesn't come through Microsoft Store. It comes through a download link, a separate download link again. Um, and you build Power BI reports with that. It's a little bit different from normal Power BI desktop. There are some features that are not available in the report server version. And it is only used when you build reports to be published in report server, which is on-premises um, solution for Power BI. 
Um, so three versions of Power BI Desktop. Um, one is Power BI Report Server for building on-premises solutions. You can download it separately. Um, two are both Power BI Desktops. Uh, you can either download it from the uh, Microsoft Store or you can get the, uh, get the download link and download it there. If you download from Microsoft Store, it automatically updates itself. But the thing is that this is not available everywhere. All of these uh, tools are free. You can download it and enjoy using it. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.